make bets with your friends. Do some gambling. Don't do gambling. Do pretend gambling. Awesome judging panel with us today. Uh, from all kinds of different organizations. Uh, we got JB Gia, our lead judge. Drift Indy, of course, now. Uh, he's been uh, traveling and living across the country for the last 20 years. Uh, of course, I mentioned Simba Niemba from here, from the Club FR region, Chicago native. Uh, final bout, uh, man, I mean, I've known Simba since, I don't know, 2001, I met him on Sylvia that night. Yeah, something like that. And then you got TR Scrivener there from Drift Indy as well. Uh, yeah, he's been around drifting since, I think, 1844. Um, and he's gonna Two have, bone. And then uh, Mr. Pat Reynolds, all the way from Phoenix, Arizona, joining us today. So very excited to uh, see what these guys come up with and uh, fill in this bracket uh, here at round two at US Air. There are a ton of drivers lined up right now. I bet those top 16 that are already seated are feeling pretty cozy, not having to qualify in. They have had a chance to look at the brackets, so they do know who their possible future battles are going to be up against. Here we go, we have the first qualifying lap of the day out here from Brick McKinnon. Doing a great job on entry and getting all the way in that second outer zone. We've got a ton of outer zones out here for you guys. This is probably the toughest part of the track coming through with three and four, but it looks like he's navigating it pretty well. Getting all the way to the edge for five and finishing strong. That's a great way to start qualifying, guys. That's that energy that we like to see up here in the announcing booth. First run of the day. Nice heater run from Britt Kalkainen. A little bit uh, shallow there on that first inner, uh, be an outer zone, but it's kind of in the inner zone. A little deep on that final outer zone. Not so much precision on the second run. I have a feeling that first will be scoring higher. Yeah, I would definitely agree with you there. Sort of a shakier entry. I think his first entry was a lot more committed. Um, and he definitely got pretty wild there through the center section in that last outer zone. Potentially even a little too deep. Um, I definitely preferred his first run, so. You can hear that VQ coming as he hucks it in really, really early. He was entering that way in practice all day today and yesterday as well. Not Touching quite the as tail end of that first outer zone. Set it up nicely for the second outer zone. Having no problem leaking that stretch at the top of the hill in the VQ. A little late for the final outer zone, but uh, definitely got into it looked like every zone, so that will get him some points. So far, so good for a second qualifying run. He's doing a pretty good job of getting a little bit deeper in those zones, more aggressive into that final outer zone as well. Might pick up a few extra points here as he comes across that finish line. Yeah, very similar runs back to back there. Um. Justin Keith, 
Another member of the Portland Fleet Grip Team, Andy SR Tony Powered, S13. Great sounding car there, a like classic SR20 sound. He's really been putting that thing uh, through his paces this week. Here comes Justin Keith's second qualifying run there. It's e brake e drag, Andrew getting out to outer zone one. A little late there on that first outer zone, but he looked like he filled that second one nicely. Great job with that uh, connection there. And extra deep on that final outer zone. Crowd already applauding, really liking that zone, liking how aggressive all the drivers are being in that final Joey Ritter from Dayton, Ohio, Team Shade. <laughs> Big early uh, transition there to a nice long entry. Filling that first outer zone nicely. Also getting into that second one. A little deep on that link there. Um, that is a difficult one to stretch. Looks like he still made it into his uh, outer zone nicely. Uh, pretty good run there. A uh, little dirt drop, lives in the bumper, but uh, I think that's uh, nice and exciting. That's what the judges are going to like to see. Run number two, rear bumper flapping in the wind. Getting into that outer zone nice and early. A little more shallow there on that stretch. Nice and deep on the final outer zone. Uh, pretty similar runs back to back there. Might have cleaned it up a little bit stretch into that second or third outer zone there. Next up we have Cliff Stotts, another member of Team Shade in the Turbo Miata. This guy's been on a, a heater all weekend. I think right now it looks like he's mainly just focusing on hitting those marks that the judges want to see. Get some points on the board and I have a feeling he might really uh, throw some heat on his second ball run there. That was a nice conservative first run. Absolutely, just how aggressive he flicked it into that final outer zone. Alright, run number two, we might see some extra sauce on this entry. Way early. Real early, real deep there in that first outer zone, getting a little into the dirt. Building that second one nicely. Little fireball there. Early into that third outer zone. Another fireball setting up. That's a that's another nice clean run there. That 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 should put him in a safe spot. Absolutely. Just a Ohio. Beaver Creek, Ohio, with the New Edge Mustang. A little early, a little shallow on that entry. Barely getting into that first outer zone. He's been a little wild this weekend. Uh, Kind of hunting Hail Marys around the track, it seems like. Definitely not as consistent as we used to see him in his S13. But uh, he's probably just still uh, warming up to this new car. Yeah, I thought he looked really good at the entry. Bring your own Sharpie, his wore out from all the autographs yesterday afternoon. <laughs> Big Monty style transition there. A little is. deeper, getting into that first outer zone nice and early. Getting his marks this time around. Looking like he has a lot more control. 
Oh yeah, this is one of the cleaner runs I've seen this weekend. Nice snappy transition in the final. That's, uh, that's points on the board right there. I like that. A lot of good angle, lock to lock transitions. Whalen in the uh, C5 quarter bet from Team Shade. He's been a little shaky all week. We'll see if he can pull together a nice solid roll right here. We've been into so far. Got to that first outer zone. Nice and early. Uh, Bogging there a little bit on that stretch. Very little angle there. Definitely would like to hear a little bit more uh, commitment on throttle, but uh, he did hit his marks. But uh, pretty boring run overall, I'd say. Up here with 80 drivers out with a simple run. You have to be a real guy. Things did sound like he's bogging a little bit. He may be having some power issues there. Even that first hour or something, yeah, he's, he's having a problem with the car. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely having some problems there. Yeah, he's giving up. Uh, Given everything he's got to get that thing around the track for sure, I think hurt right now. Unfortunate, uh, because we have so many drivers that did turn out not to All right, next up, this guy, boom. His first ever 101 game in bowling last night. Put their hands together. Watch out, King Pin. Watch out, Big Lebowski. This guy is coming after you. Uh, nice big entry there. Unfortunately, uh, watch the run out. We'll see if we can hold it together. All right, listen to this. Naturally aspirated. 13B Renesis Stream. Cleaned up that entry there. Look at that outer zone. Lots of clutch kicks coming up here. Give it everything that thing's got. Has about 20 torque and 180 horsepower. Getting it around the track there. He's using every bit of that, but that was an excellent second reeling run. Uh, we have Connor Badurka from Ohio. Right off the showroom floor, it looks like. Said he was working on his wheel control this weekend, focusing on being smooth. Getting around the track, I wouldn't say he was really on his marks precisely, but uh, he did get in the zones by the looks of it. Number two, you hear a little extra aggression on that entry. Little bobble there, trying to get to that first outer zone. Third drop, I love to see that. Deep there, overshot that third outer zone into the dirt. Back it off the clipping uh, signs, that's nice. Uh, definitely some aggression on that run, some nice excitement, but uh, a little sloppy there still. Absolutely. They gave him a score, not sure it's going to be enough to get into that 16th spot, but we'll see. All right, next up we have Saket Talai in his freshly turbocharged FRS. Still getting used to the extra power. Team Sugar Sugar here also pulled his first ever over 100 game last night. Hit those marks here on his first run. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more angle out of it, but... um. Looks like he got to those zones, so he could be getting some points there. Might be able to see. Absolutely, I think the only errors I was seeing were the entry to one. Um, other than that, it looked really good. Next up, we have Mondo Mendez and the Jay Z S14 out of Dayton, Ohio. I believe this used to be his drag car. You can hear it sounds like uh, 
It makes all the good power noises from that Jay-Z. Still getting used to the right-hand drive, I think, as it being a drift car. He was driving a IS-300 with the uh, natural aspirin in two days. Caleb Breeze in the A86 with the beam swap. Great example of uh, Coop A86 here. Making all the right noises. A little shallow there on entry. Listen to that thing singing. He was really tearing it up all weekend on this course. I think uh, I think he was throwing a lot better runs throughout practice. Uh, well, that might be cleaned up on that second run. Here's his uh, second preliminary run, looking a lot more confident fluid on entry there. Great job getting all the way to the outside on one. He's definitely bringing a little more sauce on his first run. Still a little bit of a lift there, but getting back on the road much sooner to get four. Also in there, super deep at five. from Team Shane out of Dayton, Ohio in the S54 swap 346 screaming. This motor is beautiful sounding. Nice entry there. Getting that first outer zone with a lot of commitment. Filling that second outer zone nicely. Sounds like a high-end performance machine out there getting along. Big cool. a little, little big. Unfortunately, uh, that's a big mistake there. Everything was looking real nice and tidy up until that point. Absolutely. Just overcooked it just a degree there. Here's the second one. Let's see if we can clean this up just a tiny bit. There. I like to hear that. Clean it up there in the final out of zone. I actually prefer the uh, first portion of the course from his first run there, but uh, he, he was probably trying to be. Our next driver out of St. Louis, Missouri, Stephen Fischel in the JT Powered S13. This is one of my favorite cars here this weekend. Put the car on the march here. Very consistent right now with the steering inputs. Nice clutch work there. Very consistent robotic run there. Definitely will get him points. Absolutely. Looked exactly how he was running in practice all day second yesterday as well. This is consistent. Yeah, it sounded like he kept the wheel speed up even before. Oh my gosh, are you guys converting me? All right, next up we have the legend Brian Peter in the turbocharged NB Miata. Making a good chunk of power out of that car. No 
All right, round number two. Big early, a lot of throttle, handbrake drag. Get into that first outer zone. Pull in that second. Not too deep there. Definitely a uh, little bit wheel speed limited there to stretch that, but not having a problem with it. Nice. Snappy uh, transition that final out of zone. I like the commitment there. A lot of excitement in that run. Nicely done. Pennsylvania area in the EcoBoost slots. E36, Jet Sport, Link ECU. Nice entry there. Number two. A little late there on the first outer zone. Getting that second one, no problem. Little handbrake guy, folks. Third outer zone nicely. Finish up strong there. Nice little bump there. Nice little bump there. Definitely hear that thing is uh, pedal to the metal the whole way around. 